Question 3. Stefan makes this design on a square tile. So there's a square tile. He's got uh, what looks like an equilateral triangle in the top left. He's got a circle in the top right. He's got a little triangle in the bottom right corner. And he's got a rectangle in the bottom left corner. It says he turns the tile. Remember, turns is just another word for rotates. What we've got to do is look at these five designs down here, which all look very similar to his, and we've got to put a tick on the tile below that has the same design as Stefan's tile, but when it's been rotated. Now, as you can see, all the designs look quite similar. They've all got a couple of triangles, a circle, and a rectangle. So this is not as easy as it looks. But we need, if we've got some sort of strategy, we can make it very easy. Now, the strategy we're going to use to actually get some tracing paper. So we're going to trace the shape, the original shape. And as you can see, here's one that I've done earlier. And that is the tracing paper there. And you can see that it fits over. Now, the best thing about tracing paper is that once you've traced it, you can rotate it as many times as you want. And what we've actually got to do in this question is rotate the shape. So tracing paper is going to be very, very useful for this. So if I bring the tracing paper down to the first shape to test, all I'm trying to look to see is if the design on the top of the tracing paper matches the design that's underneath it and fits exactly over the top of it. So you can see it's not fitting there because you can see this triangle down here doesn't fit with this one. Turn it again. You can see it's still not fitting. Turn it again. You can see it's the, the rectangle fits. There, look. And the triangle fits. But this circle and this triangle here do not fit because you can see the circle underneath there. So that doesn't work. One more time. That doesn't work either. So that shape completely doesn't work. So we can rule that one out. Now let's try this one down here. Now you can see straight away that that doesn't work. Go at the top there. That's not working. Here. That's not working either. Here, now that looks to be a, quite a good fit. This triangle and this triangle are both in the top left. This rectangle and this rectangle are both in the top right. This circle and this circle are both in the bottom left. And these two triangles are both in the bottom right. However, the, this triangle is actually upside down. You can see it do, it's the wrong way up. The one behind it doesn't fit. So that looks like it's going to be a good fit, but it's not actually the right answer because this triangle doesn't fit. All the three other shapes do, but this triangle doesn't. So it can't be that one either. Let's test another one. So that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. That's quite a good one. To rule out and there's only two left so let's take it up here so that doesn't fit that looks like it's going to be a pretty good fit so we've got circle in the top left triangle in the top right triangle in the bottom left and rectangle in the bottom right and that look I'll move it above, you can see it's going to be the same design. So the one that we need to be ticking is the one on the top row in the middle, and that's the correct answer.